okay uh, sawadi uh, okay uh, hi sawad either way let's go okay uh, as promised we're going to go through this web page uh, piece by piece okay we're going to recreate uh, everything we see over here to the left uh, from scratch okay now let's go ahead and analyze what we have here okay uh beginning here we've got a, a paragraph here okay and we have got a paragraph i'm just trying to identify which tags you should be looking out for okay and here we've got a heading style one a heading style two a heading style three a paragraph a horizontal line a paragraph a italic word a bolded word underlined word a paragraph and a little more complicated one because here we've got one this is in bold it's an italic and it's underlined and then we've got a paragraph and then we've got a, a table and then a paragraph and that and then the background color is blue and the title is html bills now we're gonna recreate this piece by piece uh, we're not gonna rush nice and easy i'm gonna explain it as we go okay now first things first set the language to html Okay. there we're gonna set that to html then we're gonna go straight to it okay if you remember we're always gonna start with the most important tags which are these uh -huh. close this html beginning and ending always remember that okay now here then we're gonna go straight to the head okay the head we're gonna have uh, we're gonna indent this and then head right and then we're gonna close that there and then in between then we're gonna set up the title since it's the first thing that appears from top to bottom the title in this case is html build okay so that's gonna be this tag and then we're gonna say uh, title okay. then we're gonna set the title in this case the title is html builds right there and we're gonna say html builds okay then we're going to close the tag um title okay uh, that's pretty much the head part done okay all right then we're gonna go straight to the body all right so we're gonna open this we're gonna say body the beginning of the body and the end of the body for you not to be confused uh, these spaces that i'm putting in between that's just an indentation for me to know which part of the code i'm working in okay that's just me pressing tab the moment i get them i'm just gonna go ahead and just press tab so it actually indents the cell for me to see what i'm working in in there you know just to keep things a little more professional okay now back to the code i'm working inside the body now first things first uh hang on uh, wait let's set the background color first okay now the background color to set a background color you have to do it in the opening tag of the body always it has to be in the opening tag of the body okay now when while we're there um in the body i'm just gonna say bg uh, bg color meaning background color okay now bg color i'm gonna set the bg color to blue isn't it the background color is blue so i'm gonna quote the color that i want then i'm gonna put blue on in there so that's blue okay inside the body set the background color to blue nice and easy so now we should have a blue thing let's see how what we have so far I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Uh, let me just save it in the HTML folder there. And I'm just gonna call this one a VCR. I'm kind of lazy to actually write something there, but let's see. Uh, we have a click. Let's open that. Okay, it's blank. We have our title. It's blank, but that's fine. Okay, let's put something in there. Okay, we have the body, right? Now let's put the paragraph that I'm seeing in there. Okay, now that's a paragraph. For the paragraph, if you remember, it's the P tag. Okay, then when the paragraph says uh, in HTML, a paragraph is insert 
started with an opening tag and a closing tag exclamation mark and we close it okay uh, let's save this let's go back and refresh that and we got it okay all right there we have that paragraph then we're gonna put in the next paragraph and that heading there the next paragraph is pretty much the same as the one on top so that's going to say headings uh, have different levels from uh, from, uh, from uh, one and above one is the largest okay largest uh, goodness is that how you spell largest okay that's how you spell largest okay then we're going to close the tag okay so we've got our two paragraphs now let's go straight to the heading if you remember in the previous video since we were using heading style one that was uh, h1 okay so that's going to be that h heading style one there then we're going to put the heading the heading says heading one okay then we're going to close that and then below that we have another heading which is to heading heading style two okay heading style two now i know some of these headings may look the same you know according to size they may look the same well if this was in the exam that actually tell you which heading style to use so do not actually stress too much about knowing how the sizes look and correspond to that with the heading style that's not a problem they would actually tell you which one to use okay Okay, in this case, it's a uh, heading two. There, H. Mm, no, slash H2. Close that. Now we have heading three. There, and then heading three. And close that, H3. Close. So we have our heading styles nice and easy there. Nicely packed, okay that's that part taken care of let's save this and let's see what we have okay boom okay uh, looks good to me looks good to me okay we have our heading stars now we have the paragraph here okay so we're gonna insert the paragraph the paragraph says you can insert a horizontal line as shown here okay then we'll of course close the paragraph once again okay we're gonna close that paragraph uh, below the paragraph we've got a a horizontal line to insert a horizontal line of course we did not do this previously to insert a horizontal line we use the hr tag okay that's what we use to insert a horizontal line uh, no compromisation for that one okay hr it's as easy as that just hr okay now let's save this and let's see this is what we have right so we should be able to have a paragraph there and a horizontal line if we refresh this there we go paragraph horizontal line nice and easy so far so good getting there okay then we have a paragraph here which says words can be formatted with italics bolding underlined blah, 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 whatever that says okay so that's in the paragraph tag of its own okay uh, paragraph um, okay let's write what it says it says uh, words can be formatted with italics bolding um, and lining and more with simple opening and closing um, and clue 
using tags as shown on your spread sheet. Okay. No, just oh no, it's not even on your spreadsheet, it's in your tag sheet. Snap. Okay. Now I will explain what a tag sheet is um, and in the end though just want you to suffer a little bit. Okay. Now let's close this paragraph tag. There we go. That's just a simple one, okay? Now here we have an italic word. Just like in Microsoft Word, even on a web page you can put italic words, bold words, etc. You can put them all there. It's quite simple. Okay. To put an italic um, word you have to use the I tag. Okay. Now the word that we want to put in italic says italic. Okay, then we close this tag, boom, and I, and boom. Open it and close it, okay? So we have the word italic. It should probably appear in italics, I hope. Okay, we've put quite a number of things there. Okay, there. Now we have the word italic, and it has been, you know, slanted in italics. It has been put from right there to there. Now it's in italics, okay? So that's italics, then bold. The word bold, we should put it in bold. Okay. The B, then the word bold. Uh, and backslash B, close. Of course, the word bold will begin here and it will end all the way there. That's how we're going to put that now. Let's save this. Go ahead and see and. Alright, I'm glad I got to this part. Okay, now when you have words that are next to one another and you need one to go below the other, you're going to be using line breaks. Okay, line breaks just make sure that the other one will go to the bottom. Okay, it's more of a line, it's like a, it's just like the line break from Microsoft Word, but now it's in a web page. Okay, now from the word italic, there should be a line break to ensure that. The word bold should be below. Now I'm going to go to italic, the italic the tag ends there, right? Then I'm going to insert a page break there. Page break, you're just going to go there and you're gonna write, you're gonna use the br tag. Easy as that. That's all, that's, that's all. Then save it. Then this will ensure that there's nothing that comes after italics. Okay. Then you're just gonna go there and boom. The word bold is now at the bottom. Nice and easy, see. Okay. Uh we're winning, we're winning, we're winning. Okay. We're winning. Uh bold. Okay, that's italics. We did bold. Now let's do some underlined text. Okay. For underlined text we use U. Okay, then we're going to write the word which says underlined. Okay. Then we're going to close the tag. Uh, no. We close the tag. Okay, then. We save. And let's refresh. Okay. The line. The line break. Yes, we do need the line break there. Let's insert it. PR. Boom. Okay, there. Okay. Um. Let's see. Boom. Okay, so we got it. Yeah. Now, from under the underlined, we have a normal paragraph. Okay. A normal paragraph. Okay, there. Then let's just put our normal paragraph in. P. Okay. The other paragraph says you can have multiple formatting. Tags, uh, but make sure they are in the correct order. Full stop. I'm not sure if there's a full stop there, but yeah. Okay, uh, let's close the paragraph tag. Okay. Then we'll just uh, save. 
then boom okay we have that now let's do the awkward one the multiple format yeah. now if you look at the statement that i've placed here it says you have you can have multiple formatting tags but make sure they are in the correct order okay you can actually have multiple formatting tags you can have the italic the bold the underlined all together uh, you can have them actually formatting one word. You can have one word that has been put in bold, that has been put in italics, that has been put uh, with an underline. Okay, nice and easy. Okay, now let's do that. Okay, let's make a new one. Okay, here. Uh, the word multiple formatting here is in bold, italic, and underlined. Okay, now for you not to get confused, let's just type the word itself first okay now we have the word multiple formatting okay so it's the word multiple formatting now firstly let's make it uh, italic okay so we're gonna say i and then after that of course you need to close the tag i right now it's italic and it's also in bold so let's put the bold we're going to put it after the italic tag before the actual word after the italic tag before the actual word okay then we're going to put our b tag there for bold and then we're not gonna go after we're gonna go before the italic tag as well okay we're going to close it here close the bold tag there okay the italic should be there these ones should be there okay then we have what so it's bold italic and it's underlined okay so we'll put also the underlying tag there and also it has to be before then it will be closing the underlining tag okay we'll save this now let's go ahead and refresh this there we go it's multiple formatter it's bold it's italic and it's underlined okay mm, that one shouldn't be that difficult i believe it shouldn't be that difficult um okay uh wow i've done a lot right now okay in the next one we're going to be doing uh, one of the most difficult ones which is uh tables um uh, go ahead and give what we've done so far a good try and we'll do the tables in the next bit okay Capish.